I was having a hell of a time setting this program up. Every time I started it, the Z-axis would automatically restart and either go uh, two inches up or two inches down, and I had no idea what to do. I deleted like three lines of G-code in order to get it to work. If anybody knows what kind of error uh, causes that, it, maybe it's the machine, it didn't seem like it, but I have a feeling it's part of my Fusion 360 program. If you know what is causing that, it's uh, it screwed up a few of my projects and destroyed a ton of my bits. So if uh, someone knows if that's a common problem, please let me know that would definitely help. Here we go. this Lego project turned out they are just so dang slick um, they interconnect really well they're not as tight as I'd like them to be yet but we can fine-tune that a bit I think the location pin might have been a little off some of the edges are a little uh, they're not perfect but we'll get there but again this is just an amazing project um, 
taking a look at my setup. If you have any comments or suggestions, I would really appreciate it. I think in the future, instead of doing adaptive clearing on these pieces, I'm going to be doing um, 2D clearing. I think that might uh, work better in just doing some preliminary uh, tests. It seems like it will go even quicker. So changing it from a two hour run time to maybe a 45 minute for over 20 pieces at a time. Uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, make any comments, like I said, for any suggestions on this or any other types of projects that I should work on. Appreciate it. Thanks.